A proposed ordinance in the city of Bryan is drawing criticism from residents and public transportation providers. The Bryan City Council was supposed to vote on the measure last night. It would limit where some public transit vehicles are allowed in neighborhoods. But the measure was removed from the agenda last night. Donnie Tuggle explains why. Meetings have become an expected but not always welcome part of daily life along streets like Texas Avenue, prompting drivers to search for alternate routes to reach their destinations. With these medians, it is forcing BTD to reroute all of the routes that service North Bryan. Those reroutes mean Brazos Transit can only turn right onto Texas Avenue and must go down streets they normally wouldn't to pick up passengers. The routes that are having to be rerouted are all of the routes that service North Bryan, and this is causing delays in uh, service times and ad adding additional maintenance costs to our fleet. As currently written, a proposed ordinance and future plans for medians will make portions of streets like Martin Luther King, South College Avenue, Main Street, and others off limits, not only to Brazos Transit, but Brian ISD as well. I would ask that you guys reconsider that. It is going to be an issue for our buses from uh, BISD getting kids home safely. And if we have them there, then they may have to be dropped off further away and walk. And we've got young, really young children. I was ahead of Tuesday's city council meeting. The proposal was removed from the agenda. The city told me today that the item was completely pulled per city staff request so that they can rework the proposed amendment to accommodate, quote, unintended concerns that were brought forward. Those in attendance say they're grateful the city is taking another look at the ordinance. I hope that staff will collaborate with other local agencies and residents to address their concerns. And if it does come back to council, I hope it won't be an automatic agenda item. It'll get a little bit more Time for consideration and discussion. In Brian, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Residents also argue that the ordinance unfairly targets lower income communities and hinders access to those that depend on public transportation. Of course, we'll keep you posted on what happens next with this issue.